Hey everybody, it's Amy from Magic and Light Collection. You can find all of our products, including the overlays I'm about to use, at www.magicandlightcollection.com. Today I want to talk to you about how you're going to use your overlays in Photoshop and Photoshop Elements. I've had some questions regarding how to install the overlays, and in fact, they aren't installed. They're not the same as Actions. What they are is an image that will sit on top of your image to create different effects. So keeping in mind that these overlays are not installed anywhere into Photoshop, they are going to be saved to a location of your choice on your desktop, on an external hard drive, wherever you choose to keep them. Um, and what you're going to do is open up an image and you're going to go to File, Place. Now on a Mac it says Place Embedded. On a PC it says place, just place or place file. Um, so go ahead and click on that and it's going to pull up a list of uh, images or files for you to choose from. I've, I've already got the Gypsy collection selected so I'm going to go ahead and choose an image from there. I'm going to choose I think um, maybe Gypsy Stone on this. I'm going to double click it and you can see it's going to place the image on top of my image. Go ahead and press the check mark and there you have it. You can put any of these images on different blending modes to get different effects um, and we'll cover that in another tutorial. If you like go to the Gypsy tutorial page and view all of those um, but just so you know the actions or the, I'm sorry the overlays are actually not installed they're just recalled from a place where you have saved them. Thanks for watching. You can find all of our products at www.magicandlightcollection.com.